on a paper towel so that it can get nice and well drained. Because the last thing you want is that extra grease from the bacon. So let me grab some paper towels. Just like so. Tariq just went for a walk around the pond. By the time he gets back, our hamburgers are going to be done. I'm sure he'll work up an appetite. He's gaining weight and he's looking so much better. I truly appreciate you all for the prayers. I really do. I really do. And I appreciate God for taking care of him and saving him, you know? Because he was in a really bad accident. And he lived through it, and I'm so thankful to God, and I'm so thankful for your all's prayers. Let's take a peek down at these beautiful hamburgers that we have. Amazing. I'm going to take a peek at them. See if it's time. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and turn them. Mm-hmm. And then, I am going to flip them back over because they're not as brown as I would like, but it's okay. We're going to cook them until they get well done. They smell so good. I don't know if you all can get the prime rib hamburger meat. Um, I was able to find mine at Walmart. If you're not able to find the prime rib Sounds hamburger meat, seen. just get any type of rib, you know, hamburger meat that it's you would like I'm to eating. use. Heck, you can make this with turkey meat if you'd like. Really, you can. Our hamburgers look absolutely amazing. Oh, these are kind of thick, so I'm going to cook them for a while. You know, all depends on the difference of the sizes. If you have a nice thick yep. meat, so then of course see. it's going to cook a little bit longer. Hitting the gym when traveling just isn't easy, even though we always want to stay active when we're away. So we've created the Fit with FS Challenge. It's a simple routine that can be done anytime, anywhere, using only your body weight. So whether in the gym, outside, on property, or in your hotel room, I'll show you a series of great exercises that'll challenge you to get fit in four seasons. No excuses. exercises make up the Fit with FS Challenge. Whether you're a beginner or advanced, focus on progression and resistance. Increase your time, reps, and sets, and always listen to your body. Take a look at the how-to videos to learn my tips on how to make the most of it. To get more tips on how to get fit with Four Seasons, subscribe below. Yeah. Say yes to Highlander Standard Lane Departure Alert, and say yes to helping avoid danger. Help avoid danger, and you might save the day. Save the day, and you achieve superhero status. Say yes to Highlander. Sometimes I make my patties really thin so I don't have to wait so long, but this right here is worth the wait. You hear me? Oh, it is. I can't wait to see this cheese just melt down this amazing prime rib burger and to slap on that nice thick tomato oh and listen here that potato bun is so soft let me grab thinking of my potato bun i want to grab a pan out because i'm going to want to toast my buns as well so i'm going to make sure right before my burgers okay. get almost done I will toast those buns. You want a nice, crispy, buttery bun. I'm not going to put too much butter on, but I want them to get nice and golden brown on the inside. Okay, everyone, I'm turning my burgers back over to the first side, okay? Because I want them to get nice and golden brown like that. That's the color that I'd like to achieve on every burger because I like that beautiful sear. When you get them nice and seared on the outside like that, that means that you're locking in and you're filling in all of that beautiful juiciness. All right? Just let them go just like so. Let's go ahead and put some nice butter onto our buns. And be gentle, guys. Be gentle with the butter, okay? 
Don't rip your bones apart. So <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. But be, ge <laughs> be gentle. Y'all know how to be gentle, right? I know you do. All right, you can use the back of a spoon. Sometimes I like to use the back of a spoon to spread on butter or peanut butter. It just helps you not to rip the bread, you know? Right now, I'm using a paring knife. <laughs> All right. Don't want to put too much butter on because you don't want your bun to be greasy. But you do want it to get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Just like so. I have a little bit of the sniffles this morning. We fell asleep with the air on. And I didn't know the air was on. We had the window open and I woke up with the sniffles. I don't feel horrible, but I don't feel the greatest, you know. But God is good, and I'm going to make it through today. <laughs> Absolutely. We want to go ahead and salt this amazing tomato. You cannot slice a tomato without using salt. It makes it taste better. It brings out the beautiful flavor. And you want to put a little bit of cracked black pepper on that bad boy. Ooh you come to Gina Young's restaurant, you're going to get treated right. I'm going to season those tomatoes. I'm not just going to slap them on there. Let's take a peek in at our hamburgers. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Ooh, you better believe these bad boys are going to be good. I love that. Look at that. That's what I'm wanting. It smells, oh, it smells like a cookie piece on the grill. Ooh, I got a lot of oil on my stove, but that's okay. Because I love to have something to clean up. <laughs> when I'm cleaning, I'm happy. So I'll have a good time cleaning the top of my stove off. I'm going to pour off some of this oil that's in our pan. Okay, everybody, I cleaned my stove off and I poured off all of that grease. A lot of times when I'm making hamburgers and it develops a lot of grease in my pan, just pour it out as that happens, you know? That way you don't have too much flat splattering and your hamburgers don't have to sit down in that oil. Another option is you can always use your George Foreman. You know, why not? That George Foreman, um, your grease is able to drain off and it's absolutely amazing, right? Oh, look at that one. See that right there? That's right up my alley. Oh, I have my pan over here heating up. And I have the bun that we butter. Go ahead and put them in your pan, just like so. And just give them a very soft smash. You don't want to smash them hard because we're not trying to, you know, uh, make the bun smaller. All right? Just like so. Medium high heat. Those will be brown in no time. You almost have to uh, brown your buns anytime you make a hamburger. It just tastes better, right? It's just like the right thing to do. Okay, everybody. Our hamburgers are done. We've developed beautiful sear color, nice juicy hamburgers. While our buns heat up, let's go ahead and put our cheese on. Put your cheese on any way you'd like to. I'm going to put the white at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Please look at this. Just like so. You can use pepper jack, Colby jack, any type of cheese that you love. And that's what you use. Okay, we're going to do that. And put your other one on nice and gently. Just like so. We're going to put our second piece of cheese right on top. My goodness. What a great lunch at the Young's house. I wish I still had a little bit more uh, watermelon. I had watermelon last week. I don't think I have any more left. Look at this. Now, what I like to do to let the cheese go is I'm going to put... that I have just set it right on this is just a baby cheese and what that will do I'm going to turn this down on low that will create a little bit of steam and your cheese is going to melt amazingly beautiful melty double cheeseburgers one on one let's take our buns out and let's make some sandwiches okay everybody we have our buns nice and toasty we have our bacon our tomato and our condiments Look at this nice, beautiful 
melty. And I like to let my cheeseburger set for at least five minutes. Because if you bite down into them, like literally right now, for one, you're going to burn the daylights out of your mouth. For two, all of that juice is going to come running out. Give it a second to rest so that juice can kind of suck back into the meat, all right? So then, let's start to assemble our sandwich. But before we assemble our no. sandwich... Put some milk to plan. Let's see it's nice it's for your warm. Like Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you, Jesus, for your long time, your mercy, and your understanding, and your blessing. I pray that you send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit will help us make good decisions and give us peace over our mind. Stop lying. Lord, please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you for the roof over our head, the food and the love that you give us daily. Oh, mama. Right, let's go. No. Let's go. If no. you're that person that likes onion and lettuce, no. put yourself mama. on your put your lettuce down first. No. And then you're going to put your onion on top. Look at this. My goodness. Oh, I'll take this right here any day for lunch, right? My word. Two pieces of bacon. I like to kind of break it apart a little bit. Just like so. There's nothing like bacon on that cheeseburger, right? I'm surprised at myself. I'm surprised for one that I didn't make an extra piece of bacon for myself. And then I'm, I'm surprised, number two, that I didn't steal any of this bacon. <laughs> out of the pan. I didn't do that today. <laughs> Here's what I like to do. Let's do this first. I think this is the way to go. Put that tomato on and then your tomato will make your sandwich salty yeah. because it's not going to be touching that top bun. Mama. All right? So then let's pick that bacon up. Remember we've salted it's not fun pepper. Though, that but, uh, oh lord. Mama. What's up here? Uh -huh. That's pleasure. All right? Yeah, that's up, mama. Mine. But I'm not going to put pickle on top. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice pickle spear yeah. on the side of our plates. And you can just bite down into your pickle yeah, spear. Yeah, that's up, mama. Because I don't have Let me tell you what happened. Yeah, you always can cut down yeah, baby. into You know, and cut Let me tell you what happened. I cooked the last night some oatmeal. I'm not worried about it. I'm not doing all that. And bacon. Danny and Zion told all them. There you go. Danny and Zion told all them bacon. Uh uh. Uh uh. He didn't tell me that. Teresa's gonna be so ecstatic when he comes to get his burger. He said the bacon was delicious. Uh uh. No. Uh uh. Stop blocking for the grandma. So, so mama, we have a little bit let me tell you, you what buy. happened. I had because of some Let's pancakes. Let's grab us a bag of chips. He tasted it. Uh, yes, I am picking off of the bag. He said, <laughs> that's going to be my He burger. said, no. He said, oh, mama, I didn't know, uh, you know how to cook. I said, yeah, boy, I so don't know how to cook. The Cheetos. Here's some pancakes I took it. And then, let's grab both of us a bag of chips. Nice pickle. Just like so. Have a cup. Oh. Mm -hmm. And lunch is served. Let me you call you. You told all the um, pancakes and bacon last night. For lunch, y'all. At the um, house. Y'all better never had a bacon double cheese. Tell anybody with me. You can ask Danny. Tell anybody with your mama. Give me a thumbs up. Oh, mama. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Oh, mama. Make sure you so you can be notified every time GDF comes one of these awesome recipes. Mama. Tell your family and friends and everybody no. you know about GDF no. and what I'm doing in this okay. kitchen on Mama. a daily basis. No. Alright, no. we're no. diving okay, in. So, oh, Mama, let me tell you on what happened. I cooked it a whole pack of bacon. Danny had three. <laughs> I had three. And guess what? 
He ate yeah. the rest of it. I'm gonna try mine, guys. And of course, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. let me know what you think no. about this part. Look at this. No. Oh, and yeah. you can see from yeah, here, oh, 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 it's just oh. how juicy it was. Oh. And take it and smash it down. That's what I like to do. You are hungry at the down. same I'm time. I'm going to take you this yourself. You know, you bite that bad boy. I'm going in. I can't wait to get it. Baking it. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Make this for your loved ones. Let you me say that last night. And as always, <laughs> thank y'all for watching. Good night. 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 Zaya is harassing me about clipping those bacon. Why are you still like cooking it? I don't feel like cooking it too. Yeah, that's true. I'm not cooking it. It's not that big a deal. Exactly, I ain't feel like cooking it. Me too. She, she making it a big deal, boy. You can come to this kitchen after I wash the dishes <laughs> and mess up. Gotta let to harass me. Oh, shoot! Mama, he knocked on. Wait. He knocked on all my door. I thought you were some cooking chicken around 1 o'clock. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm sorry with the bacon. Yeah! Tell the whole story. I, I told Don't tell a half of it. I told the whole story. No. You told Grandma. Well, um, you want to tell her? I told her everything. Mom. People. People. Who was bragging on my cooking? Ooh, oh, boy, it tastes good. It tastes good. Oh, 
no, I hope on YouTube don't crap around me. They're gonna crap around you. Not the music. Look, she's eyes. Eyes, turn up. Turn down the music and turn it off. You should gonna talk to white men. Magical 
mix of shopping, dining, and entertainment. Only at Disney Springs. It's my bad. Mmm, bad. No, I ain't getting that. Mmm, no, I ain't getting that. Mmm. At least I don't burn food. Mmm. -hmm. It's burning right now. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. When it's done, I don't want really to see your face or your nose in my plate.